Welcome to my channel, Innova World. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. This tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical and mechanical engineering students and especially those who are preparing for a competitive examination. Okay, let's start. So first let me read the question. A beam of Z section is subjected to a bending moment Mx having its vector direction along the Z axis. As shown in figure, calculate the maximum tensile stress sigma t and the maximum compressive stress sigma c. If the moment mx equals to 4 kN meter under the direction of b equals to 90 mm and d equals to 180 mm and t the thickness is 15 mm. Now see the figure. See the figure, they have given few points, 8 points, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. They have given 8 points and, and they have given the dimensions of it. This total, this flange of 90 mm and here also the flange of 90 mm and the wave height is around 150 mm and the, each thickness is 15 mm. Here also 15 mm. Make a note of it. The moment what he has given here is here it's in kilo newton meter. So from kilo newton meter you need to convert in kilo newton mm that is millimeter because all the dimensions has been given in mm. So it is recommendable that you convert from meter to mm. So 1 meter equals to 10 power 3 mm now if you need to convert from newton meter kilo newton meter to newton mm so what you're gonna do is 1 kilo newton meter is equals to 10 power 6 newton mm because from kilo newton to newton you need 10 power 3 from meter to mm you need another 10 power 3. So you get 10 power 6 Newton mm. Okay. Now first after the question you have to write the draw the diagram. It's very important to draw the diagram again. See please mention the terms or ages of point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H accordingly. Don't write as per your wish. If their points has been give, mentioned in the question paper, write it accordingly as the same point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now, here we need to follow some few C steps. First one is you need to split the nodes. What is mean by nodes? Here we have like this. I'm gonna split it like this. This is node 1. That means this is forming one rectangular bar. So I will made as node 1. Second I will made this one as node 2. I will join from here. Name this as after GF I and this one I will name as J. Imaginary line. Okay. So this will become one bar or node 2. Now this one this J H F E G will be your node 3. So I split it in node 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Then second is you have to form a table. In the table for each node you have to write the breadth, depth. You have to find the x1 value y1 value then from there we are going to find using an area and also the area of each node area of each node using that we are going to find the centroid our third step will be to find the centroid then the fourth step will be to find the second moment of area 
and the product moment of area in x y axis we need to find i x x i y y and i x y after finding this you need to substitute this value in sigma value that is bending stress value from there you will already in this is i'm going to solve in k method please make a note of it i'm going to solve it using k method i'm going to solve using k method so in k method you know the formula okay so some value you will get in terms of sigma some value of x or minus or plus some value with y so after that what is our sixth step is last step is we have eight points from the eight points you need to find the coordinate you need to find the coordinate of x and y value you need to substitute that x and y value in the previous equation that equation 5 so you will find the bending stress of each point that is a b c d e f g h eight points you can find it that's all they have asked and uh, after finding the eight points there are eight points in this problem then you have to judge which one is a tensile and which one is a compressive if the maximum value with a positive value that means that is a tensile value and which is having a negative and the list value that will be the compressive in nature now let's first step i have completed i have splitted the nodes now i will form the table now you can see the table displayed in your screen here i have displayed we have three nodes as per the diagram sorry so i have made one two three node here now here b d a x and y b is that breadth d is the depth of that uh, each element a is the area x and y i will explain later how to find the x and y now first let's see the diagram see the section one okay before starting it you have to mention the dimensions this is we have 90 mm here we have 15 mm from here it's 150 mm here till here we have 150 mm here also again we have 90 mm okay now from here we can write that so what is b1 b1 is 90 mm d1 is 15 mm then what is the area 90 into 15 if you calculate you get as 1350 please write the unit at the top so you don't have to write it over here the unit will be meter mm square 1350 okay i will fill this one later then what is b2 b2 is this one will be the b2 b2 will be 15 mm d2 is d is a, this one that is 150 mm now find the area 15 into 150 what you get is 2250 mm cube mm square then similarly find b3 see the diagram b3 this is b3 so this is the depth, uh, length 90 mm d3 but d3 is 15 mm this is d3 this is d3 now you multiply it 90 into 15 you get as 1350 mm square now now what you have to do is see to find this x and y you might feel little difficult but just focus a bit from here i'm going to take a graph imagine this z is lying on a graph this z is lying on a graph and this is the origin 0 comma 0 coordinate this is the origin 0 comma 0 coordinate okay 
Now, what is this X and Y I have written? These are the centroid. I am going to find individual centroid for each nodes. These are the individual centroid for each nodes. So, first node we have a rectangular. So, for rectangular we are going to find the centroid. Okay. In the X and Y. So, here you see what is a step is this is our X and this is our Y axis. But when we are finding the centroid on the X axis, we will see this is X axis. From here, this a reference to this X axis, how far distance it is lying. That we need to find. When we are finding the X, X1, what you have to do? This node 1, how far distance it is lying from the x-axis. That is important. Please make a note of it. How much distance it is lying from the x-axis. That value you have to calculate. Usually if you see, they calculate as d by 2. The x value is d by 2. But here what we will do is, see from the g to d value, we don't have the node 1. So what we will do is, see here. So, what we will do, we will add 150 plus 15. We will add this. Plus, this is our node. This is our node 1. So, node 1, this is what is the formula for node 1? D by 2. The node 1 is D by 2. So, what we will do, we will half only this part. We will do the half of this part. So, what we will do is 15 by 2. That is 150 plus 15 plus 15 by 2. So if you do that, you get as 172.5 mm. Got it? Okay. Let's. Okay. Let, then let me first. Uh, let me finish the X part. Then I will come to the Y part. Similarly, you go for the node 2. Where is node 2 is located? Node 2 is located in this region. I, D, J, H. This is node 2. What I said X means the where the location of node 2 from the X axis. That you have to find. How far from the X axis. So first what you will do is then see it is some height. It is some height. So first we will write is 15. 15 plus See, this is our note. This is our note 2. So, what you are going to do is, what is the formula? D by 2. The formula is D by 2. So, this is D for the note 2. So, we will do is 150 by 2. 150 by 2. If you solve this, you get as 90 mm. You get as 90 mm. Similarly, we will do for the node 3. See, the node 3 is lying on the axis, x axis. So, we don't need to plus anything extra. Only we will go directly to the formula. That is 15 by 2. That is 7.5 mm. Got it? Now, I will come to the y axis. Similarly, just x axis means what? How much distance the node 1 or 2? 2 or 3 is lying with respect to the x axis that means we are finding the centroid similarly for y axis what will happen is how far distance it is lying from the y axis how far distance it is lying from the y axis like how we can find the y see the node 1 in the diagram node 1 node 1 see here it is here this is y axis. This is y axis. This is node 1. So, it is lying on it. So, we will simply, what we will do is, simply, we will do the total breadth is, the formula is, y bar formula is b by 2. y bar formula is b by 2 breadth. So, 90 by 2, we will get as 45 mm. Please make sure the units here, it is a problematic paper, you have to focus on the units. Now, now you see this one, the node 2. So, before finding node 2, see the node 2 is some distance away 
from the y axis and here it lies so before that you it is very important you need to find this distance what is this distance how you can find that he, from this point to this point is how much 90 degrees this width is how much is 15 so 90 minus 15 you get 75 so this node 2 is how much 75 mm away from it so you need to plus that value here you see so here when you find 75 plus 15 by 2 that is usual formula is b by 2 so the bread that is a node 2 value b by 2 value so when you find that what you get this is come 7.5 so you get 82.5 mm got it okay now similarly look to the node 3 similarly as a node 3 this is also lying some distance away from the y axis how much similar because these lines are parallel to the y axis so this is also 75 mm away from it but what is the breadth breadth is 90 so what is the formula b by 2 so 75 plus b by 2 that means 90 by 2 75 plus 45 we will get so 75 plus 90 by 2 that means we get as 120 mm i hope your this session was very useful for you guys and for please subscribe to my channel for more updates i'm bringing with the more ideas more tricks on it